David Kreutzer, he is a senior policy analyst in energy economics and climate change at the Heritage Foundation. And Peter Schiff is the president of, and chief global strategist at Euro Pacific Capital. Um, I guess, David, let me let me start with here. What what is this besides a giant uh, tax bill that will destroy the economy? It's nothing besides that. If it were a climate bill, then we should expect to see some climate change as a result of it. And the climatologists have calculated it would make five hundredths of a degree difference in 2050. Maybe at most two tenths of a degree and probably less than that in 2100. So it's a tax bill. And it's a hidden tax bill. They're calling it cap and trade, cap and invest, cap and something. But it's cap and tax. It's going to raise energy prices. Energy consumers, businesses have to pay that tax. Peter, <laughs> thousands of dollars per family per year. This is a derivatives market, right? This is creating a new. Right. Well, they're hoping to create that in, in the trade portion of it. But you're right. It's a tax. It's you know, we're kicking an economy when it's down. The last thing we need is a new tax, especially one as expensive to enforce and administer as this tax. And what really bothers me is they don't even really have the specifics in the bill they're passing. They're giving the, 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 the um, EPA a blank slate. I mean, didn't they learn anything from TARP? I mean, who no. knows what these guys are going to come yes. up with? Yes, <laughs> I contend they did learn something from TARP. They can create a monster and nobody even looks at it. I mean, I think this is the biggest and probably the best misdirection. This is why I say Barack Obama is genius. The misdirection on this is incredible. Nobody's talking about this, and they vote on it tomorrow. It's 1,200 pages. Nobody can have read the thing. And, and I heard a congressman say, well, if I only had a few hours, then I could really understand it. And I'm thinking, wow, he must be Einstein. Mm -hmm. If he could understand it in a few yeah. hours, yeah, I couldn't yeah. read a third of it. In a few and, hours. But it's not even just kicking us when, when we're down. They're actually kicking us in the groin because it's going to hurt the industry the most. I mean, at the time where we really have to start producing more yeah. and making more products and being globally competitive and exporting, this is a giant tax on productivity, on production. I mean, who knows? Companies might actually go out of business just so they can sell their, their, their carbon credits. This is, the, this is the thing that, um, uh, that kills me is, and that we don't learn. The people who are in bed helping draft this legislation are big companies, gigantic corporations, energy companies. Cap and trade, the biggest lobbyist for that was Enron. Right. Because they knew it was a scam and they could get rich off of it. So it's going to be designed to hurt the little guy. They, they had to give away 85% of the tax revenue to different special interests to get it out of the first committee. So this is a this is a tax bill that's the most inefficient tax bill that we've ever had. It destroys eighty five percent of the money is going to special interest and not going into the treasury. Absolutely, they had they had to give that away. Those are called the value of the so called allowances. This is yeah. And this it, is it's obscene. Oh, it's They're stealing. It's, yeah, you, you let me just show you a couple of uh, let me show you a couple of this is a gas bill. The average uh, f uh, family gas bill is sixty eight dollars. Under this, if it passes, it will be one hundred and five dollars. And 40 cents. Um, here's the um, uh, the average American family gas bill for, uh, to keep Florida above water. Gas company average uh, ga gas bill here at 167, with cap and trade 272 dollars. The electric bill, average American family's electric bill, save the polar bear, 99 dollars now. It will be 180 dollars. How do we? <laughs> How, how does we, the average well, we, 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 you know, we can't. You know, if the economy was in sound shape, then maybe you can make an argument that we can afford it. But we're already broke. We're already suffering from all the government meddling of the past. It's just one incompetent program after another. They've destroyed the economy, and and now and now they're doing this. They got all their health care plans. They're not even looking at reality. And instead of reforming the regulations that that led to this mess and and focusing on the bigger issues. They're just, they're just creating additional problems. How long does it take for us to go into, into um, irreparable status if this passes? That, that's a good question. We don't know. I mean, we saw how quickly we went into recession with the higher energy prices from last year. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make, instead of a sharp temporary increase in energy prices, we're going to have a permanent increase in energy prices. And those have always come before recessions, sharp run-ups in energy <laughs> prices. So it's like we, we want to legislate a permanent recession. Well, we're already in one. It's we're, just going to keep exactly getting worse, so this is just going to help yeah, turn it into... Like okay. Extend it. Okay, guys, thank you very much.